All right, this looks like a real fun equation. We got a lot going on here. Easy breezy, man. I've got a fraction, fraction, fraction. And we're going to take a look and see if we can simplify this exponential thing we got going on and into another fraction here. Okay, so let's begin. Now I have the y on the bottom, which is means dividing by the two thirds, y to the two thirds. We're going to take that and we're going to move that up to the top. We're going to move the exponent to the top. So we'll have y to the four thirds minus two thirds. Okay. So the y is up there. I've just combined the exponent. So now it's going to be over the 16. Move the y up. Still all to the three halves power. Okay. So now when I do this, I'm actually subtracting up here. So now I end up with y to the two thirds, four thirds minus two thirds gives me two thirds here. And then the 16. And then I have to the three halves power. So now this three halves goes, applies to the top and it also applies to the bottom. So why don't we put it in there at the top and the bottom and see what that gives us. So from here, we're going to go over here. I'm going to have Y two to the two thirds times Y to the three halves. Okay. On the top there and on the bottom, I'll have 16 to the three halves power. Okay. So now continue, if I multiply this on the top, that's awesome because look at that, two times three, two times three, that becomes six over six, which is just a one. So now I have y to the one. Any term to the first power is just that term itself. So that's just gonna give me a y on top. And let's look at what I have on the bottom. Now remember, again, we're gonna change this base into a base of two. So this is like having two to the fourth power times a three hats. So now I'm going to have to multiply these two powers, this power times this power. That's going to give me two to the 12 over two. And that's actually two to the sixth power because 12 divided by two is six. So this is very close to what I would have for an answer. I have Y over two to the sixth power. Now two to the sixth power, I always memorize two to the fifth power is 32. So if I double that again, I'll have Y over 64 and we are finished. I don't know why I keep box of these. I'm just trying to highlight the answer there and we're done. Thank you. Goodbye.